95% of Northern Ireland's primary energy requirement is met by fossil fuels and imports. For a more secure and clean alternative, we must look to low carbon technologies. There is plenty of innovation within the region, all addressing our carbon emissions and providing real alternative sources of energy. Coal production is at its highest ever. Um, in 2007, there were 5.5 billion tonnes of coal extracted and transported around the world. Therefore, we, we see a huge opportunity at this point in time for us to reduce carbon emissions. Our process exploits waste fines, whereby we extract them, put them through a, a tumble and growth process to produce um, granular pellets that are weatherproof and can be used in power generation. Emerson have invested about £35 million uh, in developing a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility here in Cookstown, Northern Ireland. Uh, that has given us the capability to produce a compressor every 28 seconds. 50% uh, of those compressors will go into the renewable dedicated heat pump sector. The heat pump traps the ambient temperature from the air or from the ground and then uses that to heat the water that is circulated through your radiators or through your underfloor heating. It really is the support that we've had from a training and development point of view to develop our people, but also from a research and development perspective to be able to develop the right product that has allowed us to be as successful in this location. The future for, for low carbon industry and, and renewables in general is very, very bright. Um, through government incentives, they're looking at um, reducing carbon uh, dioxide emissions from buildings um, and one of the key things we can benefit from uh, by using for example Kingspan solar products is a reduction of 70% of your carbon dioxide that would normally be emitted from heating hot water. Um, so that's a significant uh, contribution. It's something that can be incentivised at government level um, to help the uptake of these products but across the board um, the future is certainly very bright. As well as providing first-class graduates who go on to work in the industry Northern Ireland's universities continue to excel in research and development, with committed students and world-class professors who cultivate a joined-up approach between academia, government and industry. Northern Ireland has a very good and high level of education. People here are, are extremely well motivated to try and make sure that we do have a secure uh, future for our, for our families and for our children in, in the years to come. One of the things that we're trying to do within the Institute of Sustainable World is to link all these disciplines together from uh, technical issues all the way through to social and economic type issues and to be able to deliver and develop things which are not only technically feasible but also are acceptable to the general public. We've got to bring forward our innovations at a much quicker rate and Invest NI and others have started to put in programs by which we can exploit that and bring forward R&D a lot quicker. And when you've got that sort of integrated government, uh, regional development agency, academia industry portfolio, it means that can move a lot quicker and therefore potentially we can bring things to market a lot quicker. And it needs to have a flexible workforce so we're now integrating training as well into that so the training people from the degree, course, and master programs, and the regional colleges who provide the technical support, that you have flexible workforces who understand they can take, turn to anything, move on to the next product. Our universities are not only leading the way when it comes to researching and developing low carbon technologies, they are also helping existing businesses grow. What the university has, has done for us is, is actually to provide us with third party validation for the performance of the solar siphon to add some credibility to what we say it does. We needed to have that third party testing done. Here at the university, we have a state of the art solar laboratory where they've got a state of the art solar simulator, test facilities here that are really second to none in the world. As well as that, the testing criteria that they have used has been recognized standard European hot water draw off tests. And what that has been able to do for us is to actually show that our solar siphon product actually gives a significantly improved performance over the present known technology. Invest Northern Ireland have brought industry and academia together. And as well as developing that relationship, they encourage growth and new commercial entry projects in the low carbon technologies market. We see the sustainable energy sector as having significant opportunities in Northern Ireland, both in terms of the growth of existing business base, but also in terms of attracting new investment. 
We can offer business a range of support, both in terms of startup support in Northern Ireland, research and development support, and support to enter into new marketplaces. We have the right skills base, um, we have a very competitive cost structure, we have good infrastructure within the universities. We we'll work with businesses closely to ensure that they have the right property and also that they develop the right linkages.